the formidable robot. On December 3rd, 2006, at around 9.30 a.m., an altered version of the SpongeBob episode, That's No Lady, played on Nickelodeon. The episode was fairly new at the time, first aired on November 25th. In fact, this was the second ever airing of the episode. The plot was about Patrick having to dress up a woman after being told to get out of town by what they thought was an angry incidental. There is a specific scene in the episode that was altered that day. The scene in question is when Squidward, infatuated by Patricia, Patrick's disguise, hands out a paper to her as some form of gift. The screen then shows what was on the paper, being a simple drawing of Squidward. However, it wasn't the picture that was changed in any way, but it was the sound effect accompanied with the frame. <coughs> in the original episode, a woman can be heard screaming when the drawing was shown. This is where things started to become different from the original episode. The scream would loop five times as the still frame got more saturated and sharper. Soon the scream proceeded to abruptly change to a different sound. It was that of a woman screaming for someone to not die. It sounded more guttural and genuine, the quality of the voice sounded like it came from a VHS voice recording, rather than a studio. The transcript of the audio was as follows. Oh, Molly! No! Please, no! Please don't go! I loved you so much! Who did this? Who does this? The audio was cut short when the still frame, completely saturated and deep fried, suddenly turned into a different image. It was of the same drawing of Squidward, but with noticeable differences. Squidward's pupils were gone, the frown had turned into a devious open smile, and there seemed to be what looked like an open gash on the top left of Squidward's head. This image was shown for three seconds, before the channel plastered a technical difficulty screen in its place. Two days later, an unnamed individual had been fired at Nickelodeon. The reason he was fired was due to tampering with the broadcasting. He had apparently played this as a final farewell to Nickelodeon. He was later arrested on the account of murder after they had connected him with the audio, which had been recorded on a VHS tape, depicting the murder of 22-year-old Molly Dean. <laughs> 